let's see some more examples for the moon machine let's say uh, the question is given us that we have to design a moon machine that counts the occurrence of baa in the input string so uh, in the last lecture we have seen that uh, for construction of uh, the moore machine we should first form the dfa for this so what would be the dfa for this let's say the smallest string of the language that is having the baa will be baa otherwise it can contains another baa also or it may contain b b b something like this and again b a a so in that in this kind of the string you can say that this is the first occurrence of b a a and then this is the second occurrence of b a a and this is the third occurrence of b a a corresponding to this one output should be generated in the moon machine now for forming the dfa let's design the automata for the smallest string that is possible that is b a a so let's say a is the state that is the initial state if i get a b i move to state b if i get small a let's move to state number c and if i get another a let's move to state number d and i'll consider that d is the final state so although i'm not drawing it drawing it as a final state because i will convert the same automata in the form of the moore machine so that's why i'm not marking the final state because in the moore machine there is no final states so uh, this is the b this is for the b a a and let's say if i get another b at state number d so i should move to state number b because after b i can once again get a a so that's why i'm moving from state d to state d to state b now what if i get a, a, a b here in the state number c so that means that b a has come and after this another b has come so it means that a a may come later also so i'll move to state number b from c if i get a small is if i get small b as the input now what if i get a symbol at the state number d so i should move to state number capital a because a after uh, two a's the third a is not desirable and after this i may get another b a a that's why i'm moving to uh, state a because i'll start the recounting for the symbol b so that's why i move to state number a now what about the rest of the symbol let's say at a state a i get a so i should remain at a state a i should not move in fact i should move only if i get b now after one b from a if i get two three four b's then also i should remain at state number capital b so why is it so because uh, let's say the string is like the b b b and then a a that also means that it it has it is having b a a so after getting the first a you should remain at state b with the symbol small b so this is the uh, kind of the dfa that we have actually prepared and in which uh, i will now convert this to the moore machine which says that the output uh, we, we have to actually count the occurrence of b a a so whenever a b a a comes what i can do that i can apply one here in the state number d because the state number b d says that i have obtained the baa so one will be generated and for rest of the states i can mark them as zero meaning that uh, if it is any other symbol than baa then the output zero should be generated so let's take the input let's say baa and another baa also comes and let's see that what will be the output in this moon machine so i start my transition with a which will produce the output zero if i get a b i move to state number b and will produce a zero if i get a i will move to state number c and will produce the output zero if i get a i will move to state number d and produce the answer one after this let's say i get uh, the symbol b i'll move to state number b and will produce the output zero from b if i get the input symbol a i'll move to c and produce the output zero if i get another a i'll move to state number d and will produce the output one we can see that there are two ones which has come as the output and so i can say that i have counted the number of the baa in the given input string so i hope you must have understood the designing of the moore machine here and uh, uh, along with designing the moore machine in uh, this diagram what we can do or what we should actually do in practice whenever you are writing this in your exam you should uh, design this also that is the delta and del it means not the delta and del but del and lambda it means the 
transition function and the output function also. So here the states are A, B, C, D, wherein A is the start state. The input alphabets are A and B, and the output alphabets are 0 and the 1. So at a state A, 0 is produced at the output in B also, in C also, but in state number D, output 1 is given as the output whenever I reach to state number D. So from A, with A symbol, I move to state A. With B, I move to state number B. On B, with A, I move to C. And I remain at B only at the symbol small b. At C, with the, the symbol A, I move to D. And with symbol uh, small b, I move to state number B. From D, on getting a symbol small a, I move to state A. And on getting a symbol B, I move to state number B. So this is the uh, table that design that actually defines the uh, transition function and the output function also. So whenever you are doing, whenever you are drawing this, along with this, what should you do? That you should take the string, a string that you consider from your side, and show the transition of that string, like I shown, like I have shown here. And similarly, you should actually draw the table. And uh, this will actually be a good impact on the examiner who is checking your copies. So thanks for watching this video. We will meet again with more examples on the Move Machine.